Now, I don't mean to gripe too much. I love this game, okay? I've beaten it, I'm in the post game, and I've just been trying to 100% it, going around collecting stuff and listening to all the dialogue. But I would like to suggest that Double Fine consider adding manual saves. So hey guys, this is just gonna be sort of an off-the-cuff video. I've been playing a lot of Psychonauts 2 recently, and I just wanted to talk about this. So Psychonauts 2 has got automatic saving. So if you go to resume game, you just resume you know, whatever game you were playing without being asked to load a file or whatever, you can press Y to select a save slot. But these are not really slots in the traditional sense. These are more like, you know, games that each just have one save per. So if I just go resume game, it'll just resume on whatever save is active. And it has this auto saving system that whenever it feels like it, it just saves automatically and doesn't really ask you. And then when you go to quit the game, you know, if you go here, it tells you like, okay, time since last save. So it tells you how much the time is since last save, but it doesn't seem to let you actually save. You can't save manually as far as I can see, you know? You've got all these screens here, a whole bunch of inventory, you've got your menu, but there's no apparent option to just manually save. It's like a double whammy. I mean, at first it saves without asking you, but then also you can't ask it to save. So if, you, if you've just been running around a lot and you wanna go back to the title screen and it's been like, you have five minutes since your last save, like, is it safe to quit? Did you, did you do anything that you didn't save and you're gonna lose your progress? You can't just tell it to save manually so then you know you're good and you can quit. Now look, auto saves are a wonderful thing, okay? Like, if you forget to manually save or whatever, the autosave has always got your back. It's a brilliant thing. I would never say to remove autosaves, but to have autosaves but then no manual saves is horrible. For example, the other day when I was streaming, I fumbled a button and accidentally skipped a piece of dialogue that you can't ever hear again. And the game had already autosaved after after me skipping the dialogue, so when I reloaded, it was already after it was skipped and I couldn't hear what it was again. And if I'd been allowed to manually save, or even if even if we had the sort of more classical system of auto-saving at each load zone, and then you can manual save wherever you want, then I could have, you know, load the auto-save back to the start of the load zone, only lost like a couple of minutes of play, and then hear, you know, being able to hear the dialogue again. Or if I have manual saves, I could have just saved as I like, and then you know, maybe only lost a couple of minutes or 30 seconds or something and can go back and fix a mistake like that. Or say if I'm a speedrunner uh, and I want to be able to practice parts of the game and I want to have like a whole bunch of saves each at different parts of the game so I can go and like drill them all, you can't do that without manual saves. And as a speedrunner thief, well, look at this, you know, this is Thief 2 and you got all of these save spots. So as a runner, I can have one save for every level or even in the middle of a level and I can just go back and practice it whenever I want. Thief, you know, being an older game, it, it lets you have this massive amount of save slots, I think 20 or something like that, and or you know, 15, I don't know. And uh, so you could just make saves wherever you want and uh, practice your run or just for any other reason, you know? Like in a game like Psychonauts, which prides itself on its assist features and sort of letting you play the way you want, I mean, you can turn no fall damage on, you can, you can turn invincibility on, you can play the whole game invincible, you can turn narrative combat on, uh, you know, all of these accessibility features, but it, it doesn't give you manual saves, which to me is a strange omission, and it, it feels like weirdly sort of out of place, because it's, the game's clearly very considerate towards the player in many of these ways here, but to not be allowed to save when I want to and not save when I don't want to feels kind of really inconsiderate. And now, I'll admit I don't play a lot of AAA type games, so I don't have much experience, but my, uh, some of my viewers are telling me that this may be common in games where they just don't have any manual saves and they have like this one single sequential thread where it just saves whenever it feels like it and if you want to go back, you can't. If that's the case, that's really disappointing. And I would I would implore Double Fine or anyone else really to consider just adding manual saves back in the way games have had since the dawn of time, pretty much, at least since the 80s. You know, it, to me, it's it's the most basic consideration that you can give to the player. It's like a it's like a it's a considerate thing, you know? Just 
it's it's really the, the simplest thing you can do to let the player play how they want, especially when you go to these other options. You should let the player save when they want and and have full choice over that because it really feels like the game is being really draconian with you when it doesn't let you do that. It's like, look, you can play all these ways that are your way, but you're going to play my way with the complete sequential thing and, and you, you cannot go back, you cannot redo or fix a mistake. If you want to capture footage of the game for like commentary or a review or something, you've got one chance and then you have to restart from the beginning. If you're a runner, you can't have saves in the middle. You. We, we're fine with invincibility, but we're not fine with speedrunning, I guess. I don't know. And, but, but like even apart from all of these things, there's the less tangible thing. Like It just feels disrespectful as a player to not be allowed to manually save. Like I shouldn't really have to argue the finer details. It's just a basic respect feature to me. And I don't, I don't mean to gripe. Like I'm not a game developer, and I don't mean to sound ungrateful. But... It's just, I just want to express my frustration and I want to, you know, let you all know that this is a very important thing for at least me and probably many other people. And for what it's worth, both autosave and manual save are listed as good accessibility features on gameaccessibilityguidelines.com. Now, I mean, I've only just had a small look at this site. I don't know if this is considered like super authoritative or whatever, but uh, my point is other people are still thinking about this besides me. And especially in a game that prides itself on its accessibility features, I really feel like manual saves should be there. And I really feel like it should be there in any game, unless there's some extremely good reason not to, like like the game is like really unusual and doesn't jive with it or something. But like if you can at all, I really think you should for the reasons I've said. So that's my little like rant or whatever it is. Uh, see you guys later. Thanks for listening. <laughs>